What's going on guys and girls? It's Zach from Switch Source and we've got an SNES Classic in the house. This is a glorious day. Big thanks to Nintendo for providing the review unit to us. Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. All the games you could want. My favorite console from when I was a kid and I'm super pumped to dive into this. Let us know if you want to see any specific games or what you want to see uh, or learn or know about it. We're allowed to show quite a bit of footage. Uh, it's got Star Fox 2 obviously, Kirby Superstar, Final Fantasy 3, Mario RPG, Mario World, Link to the Past, Star Fox, Kirby's Dream Course, F-Zero, Earthbound, the whole kit and caboodle and we're going to dive in and see what this looks like, how it compares to the NES Classic and what it looks like compared to the Switch since we're not getting Virtual Console, at least not now. This is our best bet to play some of our old time favorites in 2017. Okay, so first up we got to pull out some freaking cardboard. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Classic looking posters is what I think we see first here, my friends. Startup instructions and we get this nice poster. It reminds me of the good old days. Remember we get posters in our freaking video game consoles? Look at that. Mario Kart, Mario World, Metroid, Star Fox, F-Zero, Link's the Past. All that golden old art looking so good. I love that Nintendo's back to the red, by the way. That's something that the Switch does so well. It rebrands Nintendo back to red after the uh, white era of Wii and Wii U. Now we've got our wired SNES controllers here. I kind of wish that these could connect to the Switch in some way. They're so freaking good. I love these controllers. I actually have a hat. It's a really cool hat. Um, I think it's from Throwback Gamer and it has like the SNES uh, button layout on it. That hat is so freaking cool. Um, anyways, this is a Super Nintendo controller. Feels like a Super Nintendo controller. It feels a little lighter than I remember. I could be wrong. Maybe just since I've been playing the Switch and that's like a heftier piece of hardware. Uh, but it's definitely a Super Nintendo controller. It's got its nice uh, connector that you know from the past. Past being like the NES Classic and whatnot. Uh, two controllers this time around because multiplayer is a major deal. Uh, and that is what we want to do, and that is what we're gonna do. Some Donkey Kong action, me and my brother kicking it back with Diddy and Donkey. I wish they had the whole trilogy, but DKC1 is gonna have to do. That's still a tried and true classic for me. I feel like people think Donkey Kong Country is overrated. I don't think it ever is. I love those games so much. In fact, that's probably gonna be what I play first. And we'll, we'll hook this up and see uh, how it powers on and all that. Um, here is your lovely power cord, micro USB, to USB on this end, and it's gonna go straight into this little wall adapter here. It'll slot in like so, and away you go. Mm, decent length on those things. Oh, let's check out the length of the controllers. Uh, let's see, I know a lot of people with the NES were like, hey, 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 we don't want that short little cord thing anymore. I'm not sure that this, let's see. If, if it doesn't fit on the camera, I guess it's long enough. I wish it was longer. In an era of wireless, I just wish these things were wireless, but again, I guess it kind of brings you back to that era of wired controllers sitting on the floor, looking up at the TV, and here is the piece de resistance, my beautiful. <laughs> I can't get over how small these things are. Look at this guy! Freaking, the buttons work! Oh my God, that's, okay, eject doesn't work, obviously there's no cartridge slot, but power is the power, and there's the reset, and there's the freaking, oh, look at this. It comes off like that, that's so cool. I didn't know it did that. So you've got the, the faux front here that look like the OG ports and then this thing pop and drops down and you're like, dude, let me Optimus Prime out and stick the controller right in. Let's grab this. Boot player one, ready for action. This can fall down. That can go in, that's clever, I like that. It kind of feels like it would be a candy box. Like I almost wanna get some gummies out of here or something, some like rotten old uh, hard sweet tarts from like 1995 or something, but uh, Super NES control deck, blah, 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 what it's compatible with, go to support.nintendo.com if you have problems. But how can you have problems when you have this? It's so freaking cute. It's so freaking cool. I'm gonna have to go grab my NES uh, and compare them and hold them. It's so freaking mini. I just, I can't get over it. I love how cool it looks. I love how good it looks. We're gonna have to boot it up. Uh, I hope the light, I want the light to go on up here. It's probably just gonna go on right here, but this is so cool. I feel like I grew 20 feet since I was a kid and now I'm holding my little system and it got so small. But really time just passed and they were able to miniaturize. It's, I think this one is far cooler looking than the NES. I love the NES Classic, but the NES is basically just a freaking rectangle. The SNES has some freaking zoom, 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 supercar, freaking curves and bends and, okay, maybe not curves, but it's a little bit more aerodynamic. It looks a little bit more futuristic and it's got the freaking purple slider button, so. Mm. I love this thing. 
Zoom, here are the both of them. The NES Classic from 2016, the SNES Classic from 2017. They're virtually the same size, which is really cool. You could kind of stack them. And as I said, the SNES just has a little bit more details, it's a little cooler, but I, I kind of sold the NES Classic short. I forgot that this one had the little clicky buttons for power and reset as well. No cartridge slot. I wish this would open up. Uh, the exposed ports is, you know, how it's supposed to be for that console. I just think it's pretty cool that we have the faux front here. They're both really darn awesome. They're both so freaking cute and adorable, and they're like the greatest homages to Nintendo nostalgia. And the fact that you can just HDMI them into your TV, now the SNES is more expensive, it's $79.99, but you know, it's a, it's a new generation, if you will, and it has, I think, the best console lineup uh, possibly of all time. We'll see how some of the more recent consoles fare in the long run, but I also want to compare uh, the controllers. This is the NES controller, and you can see the cord uh, only extends the camera. So now when we put this through, you'll realize that uh, the SNES cord is far longer. You'll see you got an extra, I don't know, extra foot and a half, extra two feet there, so not amazingly long, but it's longer, and so that should alleviate problems. You know, we got considerably extra cord uh, on the edge. Yeah, definitely about like two feet or so of extra cord um, on the SNES controller. So two SNES controllers, one awesome SNES classic system. I love this thing. I'm gonna turn it on just to show you guys what the interface looks like, and then we'll do gameplay if you wanna see that, but um, I'm freaking in love. I know I'm like just, I feel like a freaking kid again because I love this system so much and getting home from school when I was in like second and third grade and playing my SNES with my brother, duking it out in WWE, playing NBA Jam, going to work in Mario Kart, getting through the freaking last levels of Super Mario World, some of my greatest video game memories and I love that I have it back in my hands and we can play like a whole bunch of just awesome games plus the fact they got Star Fox 2 in here, something new. I'm not the biggest Star Fox fan but I just think it's cool that they resurrected a project and saw it to completion. I really want to get up on Donkey Kong, Mega Man, Mario World, Link to the Past, obviously, Mario RPG, Yoshi's Island, Punch-Up, 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 some good stuff in here. So let's go plug it in. Oh. Alrighty, we've booted the SNES Classic up, and as predicted, that power light appears on the front of the console, not up by the power slider, but that's a-okay. We got the setup screen here, and we gotta pick a language, and then we reveal the glory, the wonder, the sights and sounds of the SNES Classic. The game's lineup is here. It shows you if it's one or two player with the little icons, and ooh, Star Fox 2 wrapped like a present. It reminds me of the 3DS when you get a new gamer app. They drop a gift down onto your home screen. That is pretty nifty. I love that they packaged this brand new experience for us. We got all the good games, Mario Kart, Mario world punch out link to the past yoshi's island and donkey kong country which is what we're going to click on to see how quick it loads and there you have it right real fast now the snes classic does have a nice uh, save state suspend rewind feature all you gotta do is hit the reset button so in a quick second here we'll hit the reset button on the physical console and that is going to pull us out into a floating suspend state and we can drop that thing down into our suspend point list i think you have four slots from what i remember seeing uh, you can go through and, and do all the stuff but what we want to do right now is save this down here. When you reset a game, you can create a suspend game. So we're going to put it down here. Uh, you can save it down into your list of four. You can rewind from that point. You can restart from that point. Pretty darn nifty. So if we pick it back, we're right there, raring to go. I can't wait to play some DKC, but we got to wrap this video up first. So back to my kitchen table. All right. Now, obviously, there's no direct way to connect these things. And I wish I could just take all the games in this and somehow merge them into the Switch and bring that virtual console goodness that we've been waiting for. But there's probably no virtual console coming in 2017. We're gonna have to wait till 2018 to hear their plans, how it is gonna work, if the online service with their sort of old game catalog is gonna be it, or if they're gonna actually bring a virtual console. We know they've got the arcade archives, which adds another weird twist of things. But Switch fans have been clamoring for it, and this is gonna be the best way to play those old games this holiday season. Is it ideal? No, I wish I could just take the freaking cord and connect them together and even just play on the Switch. How dope would that be if Nintendo found some integration? <sighs> if you just connect it, like, yes, we don't have Virtual Console, but we have a freaking real console, and we're gonna connect it and play on the Switch. I just wanna play Mario World on this guy. I just wanna play freaking Donkey Kong Country on this guy. In the meantime, though, it's 80 bucks but it's probably a freaking good investment. One, they look so good. It's gonna be a good look on your shelf. Two, it has a lot of good games. Not all the good games, but a pretty, pretty hefty assortment of really fantastic titles. And I have been jonesing for that classic stuff. Obviously, there's plenty of news still coming to the Switch. We got Mario Odyssey, Fire Emblem Warriors, Xenoblade 2, we got Doom. We got a whole lot of stuff headed our way. Some great indies, golf stories coming soon. SteamWorld Dig just came out. But that Nintendo nostalgia, if you're feeling it, this is the way you're gonna have to go. 
And, and I, I gotta say, it looks so good. It's so freaking cute. And it makes me so freaking happy to have my favorite console in the palm of my hand. So that is gonna do it, Switch for us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know if you're gonna be picking up an SNES Classic in the comments down below. Are you gonna try to get one on launch day? Do you think that Reggie is right when he says there'll be a lot of stock? Do you have a pre-order? Was your pre-order canceled? What do you think of the system? What do you wanna see? Is there any specific games, any specific comparisons or things you wanna see? Let us know. I'm gonna keep sliding these buttons and keep trying to submerge the SNES into the Switch. It's not gonna work, but one can try. There is no do, there is only try. That's not what Yoda said, but it's what we're gonna have to roll with until Virtual Console hits. In the meantime, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Fantastic day. Talk at us in the comments below. We love you. Switch Force out.